Okay guys, so change of plans. I really hate the dresser I honestly got for free and I was trying to redo it and I just really don't like the stain of it. And if I'm gonna redo my room once and get furniture basically for my future apartment, I wanted to see something I really love. So I found this amazing thing set on Facebook Marketplace and I am about to measure my car to make sure everything fits. So let's sure. So in order to make a circular top, I'm sure there's a better word for it, um, headboard, I attached a pencil to string that was attached to a nail that I nailed into the piece of wood. Um, so we got two new ones and I'm very excited about these and these are the last ones. So. Uh, I know this channel is about DIY, but the second video is honestly just about the little accents that I'm adding to my room and how I did that in a very inexpensive and easy way. These wire baskets that I got from uh, Amazon that I'll link below. Um, and they're four fitting beautifully underneath my bed. And it just gives me extra storage because I don't want the room to feel cluttered. Um, and now I am putting in is my mirror next to it and now comes the tedious part of taking all the old things down out of my room moving around the furniture where I want it and uh, putting an ice pack on my back afterwards <laughs> now the curtain hanging. If you're getting the gist from my voice, all this little stuff in this video are probably the not fun parts as much, but more the parts that are more necessary, like the knob. Um, I'm putting up the curtains now, and this is just a lot of drilling uh, drywall screws, which I didn't use because I was feeling very, like, wanted to just do it and not do it the right way, but uh, I suggest using this. where I got them guys. Facebook Marketplace. I got both of these for both of these for $120. They barely fit in my car. And I moved my other TV over here. Cash them up to throw out. I added curtains. Obviously. Uh, an old painting. Grandparents picture because you know I love the grandparents. More curtains. I love these tassels that were added. My high sign because it's adorable. I moved my light over here. There. And my chair. And this is my oh, and in my past, my headboard. Anyways, um, 
taking this time to just shout out to Facebook Marketplace. It is a great place, honestly, right now. Instead of going to antique stores or consignment places, I guess that's closed. Anyways, um, as you see right here, just scrolling through, you can see so many amazing pieces of furniture. Even like I found uh, this day bed from Urban Outfitters that was just to be like $270 or something. Right here, they're only asking fifty dollars. Probably has like a scratch or two, which can be easily filled in with a marker, and uh, the cushions can be made with some normal pillows, or you can get them from Walmart um, for like twenty dollars for two cushions, which makes an easy bed. Um, so I just want to say, Facebook Marketplace is a great place to find pieces that you either can DIY or you can even just find pieces that you just really want to keep in your house. Um, like uh, the dresser from the first part, this mid-century one for $50, beautiful. Literally the description said it was made, it kept in the family for like 50 years. I don't really know why that was made. But, great deal, great place to find stuff. And also right now, nobody has desks and uh, Facebook Marketplace does. 